Yo, what is up guys? My name is Kevin and I'm going to be starting up my tank channel here, my fish channel, whatever you want to call it, but I'm starting it up. I'm going to get myself out there and I'm going to show you guys my tanks, all the success I've had, all my failures, everything. So first off, this is just going to be an introduction video. You're just going to see all my tanks. You're going to get a glimpse of them because there's many more videos to come about each and every tank I have. Currently, I have four. I got this 10-gallon fresh water. I have a 30-gallon salt water, another 20-gallon uh, fresh water, and I have a pond, which is not really a tank, but you know. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the glowfish tank. I know a lot of you guys are against glowfish, but the reason I went with the glowfish is because I wanted to bring some brightness into my room. I wanted to bring some life into my room, so I went ahead and went with the glow. It looks really nice at night when I'm chilling in my bed, sleeping, you know. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the ceiling turns blue, and it's just amazing. It feels like I'm in, you know, the water myself. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this tank. So, I know a lot of people are against glowfish. Um, we'll talk about that in another video, but... For now, let's just enjoy the glowfish while we have them. So, you know, everything in this tank is pretty much decor that's not real, such as the gravel, the plants that light up, and even the fish, some people will say. So I have two Tetras, one Danio, and um, four skirts. The skirts are the see-through guys that just have a stripe of glow through them. I really didn't think the skirts would make it. They looked really bad at the pet store. I felt bad for them. I picked them up and... They made it. Um, and I also have one Pleco, Albino Pleco. He's in here. He's in the corner. I don't know if you can see him that well, but he's there, stuck to the glass tank. Just one tip from this tank. I think the, su the success from this tank was the air pump that I put in. So if you want success or you want a higher chance of your fish living, put an air pump. It'll help your fish in the long run. Trust me. So let's go to tank number two. All right guys, so this is tank number two. As you can see, I have some hermits in there. This is a 30 gallon salt water tank. I have two yellowtail damsels, two sergeant damsels, and one black and white striped damsel. So my tip for this tank would be, don't buy any damsels because they're so aggressive and they end up killing each other. Especially these yellowtail damsels, look at them. They're so aggressive, they took up this whole territory and they don't let no fish swim across. So please, try to avoid the yellowtail damsels unless you're going to have a damsel only tank. Um, other than that, um, it's summertime here. I don't have a chiller, but I do have a fan that's better because it's cheaper and it works. So it does the job. Keeps the temperature really, really good. Alright guys, so um, this is the 30 gallon saltwater tank. Like I said, if you're starting with a uh, saltwater tank, don't get yourselves yellowtail damsels because they're really, really aggressive and you might pay the price for them in the long run. I know they're low price fish and that's the reason why I got them. I knew they were aggressive, I knew they were territorial, but I took the risk. And the reason being is because my tank crashed, I lost my, my beautiful fish that I had and I had to restart up. So I went with the low price fish instead of starting with the high price fish, which is pretty smart, you know, that's what you want to do. And I believe this hermit crab just changed shells in front of us and we were not looking. Uh, he's my biggest hermit crab I have. So I think he just left that shell and went into this one. Uh, we totally missed that, but whatever. <laughs> or maybe he was there on video while I was filming have to zoom in on there. So anyways guys, this is the saltwater tank. It's a dope, dope tank. I love it because when people come, they're like, what? Especially when you have Nemo in there. When I had Nemo, but that's a different story. We'll talk about that in another video. All right guys, this is tank number three. Pretty, pretty simple setup here. I have a butterfly koi fish, a red-eared slider, and another red-eared slider somewhere here. He's hiding. I don't know where he's at. I'll look for him later, but and then I have about seven or eight goldfish. They were actually food for the turtle, but he never ate them, so they became friends, which is pretty, pretty 
cool I guess so now they're all friends in this tank it's a peaceful tank no aggression here like the saltwater tank and there's also a snail he's just eating up everything that's on that filter he loves it he enjoys it I'm surprised he's out because usually they come out more at nighttime than the daytime at least he does so yeah guys this is a simple setup for an res and a couple fish and i know that the koi fish is probably too small for this tank but when i got him he was really small and we're going to uh, move him to the pond so just stay tuned for that i'm gonna have a video for this guy right here moving him to the pond and there's the other baby res i found him he's right there say hi squirtle all right guys moving on to the pond okay guys this is my pond i have a couple red ear sliders in there and they should be in here somewhere i'm just kidding guys this is not my pond this is actually a nesting place for one of my red ear sliders um i thought she was pregnant but i don't think she is um trust me it looked better than that i'm just cleaning it out um so this is the pond and the pond was already in place here at the house i always wanted to fill it up with water and fish and i finally did so that's uh the diy filter that i did i also did a pre-filter which is in there and i will make a video on that later on so these are all the goldfish i got in here there's i don't even know how many there's in here and there's uh, about three koi fish if you saw that swimming there goes another one he's the biggest one i got he's right there i want to get a glimpse of this guy but he's not letting himself and the red ear sliders are in this cave they like to go in the cave and just hang out there so yeah this is the pond if you guys have any questions or any comments or any advice for any of my tanks please feel free to leave me a comment please subscribe like my videos support me like i've supported all of you guys when i started doing this hobby because you guys made it possible for me so now i want to make it possible for somebody else so thanks for checking out my channel i hope my channel grows and i hope we grow as a fish community and all that so thanks guys and please please like comment subscribe and let's talk fish later